Welcome to uh, many of the Trump watches. I'm Trump watching right now and hoping to stop him from ever becoming the president. Hoping that somewhere in the laws we can get him in, no, out of office and deported to where his wife used to live. Why? I'll tell you why. Melanie Trump says Jewish reporter who got death threats from pro-Trump neo-Nazis had it coming. Defying expectations, Trump's campaign hits a new low by Yair, Yair Rosenberg. Hello, Mr. Rosenberg. Thank you for the article. Now, I'm going to read your article or post it up on my site if you don't mind. Um, I'm, I'm horrified about, um, what is, what's happening to our world that we would even uh, imagine putting a man like him in. And his wife, Donald Trump's wife, is a parent. She does what she says. She gets on her knees and pray when he asks. And, and she shuts the hell up when told. You're always beautiful. You'll always be perfect size. But your age, you can't stop. If you really think that he's going to keep you around after that baby turns five or six. You're wrong. He plays too hard, he moves too fast, and he's got a big mouth. You want him. I wish I could say more positive things about this whole campaign issue, but so far the campaign issue of the election year is really crap. The Republicans have lost total, total hold on their party. Don't know what happened. At least they used to say, I really don't like the guy they're running. He's so-and-so. Okay. And from there, I could live. I lived through George Bush. We all did. Not most of us. But. Donald Trump... Let's ask Jeb Bush about how he thinks about Donald Trump. He probably thinks about as much about him as we all think about him, no matter where we're from or what we are. I'm a Democrat, by the way. And I just like Donald Trump. Of course I would. And Jewish. That can be quite annoying, can't it? married to a Jew. You can do a book on it. I've done it. The end. <laughs> oh, you people. Oh, my God. You know, my God, your God, your white-ass pure God is everyone's. He is not, however, and cruel and mean and wishes anybody death or harm. He does not rule you to hell. You've sent yourself there. Look how you live. If you are a white supremacist, Aryan, neo-Nazi standing at my door, and I'm going to take it that you are already in hell, that you are alive and dead all in the same breath. And why would that be? well anybody who sets their path on the path to take another's life because of their beliefs and really believes in their beliefs then they are on their own road to hell and they have died themselves and don't even know it they're murders they're terrorizing their threats 
you are dead already. Nobody even had to kill you. You were just dropped dead. You got up and you walked. And it wasn't angelic. You'll never be angelic. The reporter did not re did not uh, deserve what she got. And you know what? Mrs. Trump. You have no idea what you're saying most of the time. You're being taught what to say and how to say it. Your English is still bad. And he hasn't deported you yet. Oh, wait. You're sleeping with him. And you've had children with him. Gives you somewhere in the hole anyway. So do tell. Hmm. Do tell. For all you white supremacists out there in the Aryan Nation and uh, the great KKK, may I say welcome to hell. I'll be looking for if he gets into office to the battle that we are about to have. I'll live. I know I'll live. And why? Somebody told me one time that I'd see this day and no matter how sick I am or was, I'd live through it. And I believe them. I don't think you realize how much God is actually on my side. <laughs> I'll go have a Joan of Arc moment now. You need to stop it. I'll give you all big crayons and some paper and you draw me a pretty picture. Okay? Mr. Trump, I could out business you any day. I just don't have the funds to do it. But I know I'd be a far better, a far better boss than you. And you know what? I know it and I believe it. You, Mr. Trump, are a joke. Hope you have fun the rest of the year, because we're not giving up. <laughs>